Hey, good morning. I have a confession. I am a bad parent. That is a statement of shame. Shame, as defined by Dr. Brene Brown, is an intensely painful feeling or experience of believing we are flawed and therefore unworthy of love and belonging. Wow, wrap your head around that for a minute. Shame is definitely the most charged of all of these five emotions that I have been discussing as related to things that pull away our serenity. You know, so what were they, right? We had worry, we had fear, we had busyness, we have shame and regret. And at the outset, I had no particular order in which I was going to address these five. It's just funny that I picked probably the most I didn't even pick it consciously. I, I probably just avoided it to the end. I picked the one that has the most emotional charge. So let's take a real quick moment to make a distinction between shame and something else we typically conflate it with, which is guilt. So if I said that I yell at my kids, that's a statement of guilt. If I said instead, I am a bad parent, that's a statement of shame. You can see the difference there, right? Um, you know, one of them, I've detached, right? I yell at my kids. It's an action that I do. Whereas the other case, I'm making an I am statement, which is really powerful and really has a lot to do with the way I judge myself and the way that others may judge me. And that right there is why this one is so tricky. So I've got four strategies. I'm not claiming that they're the best strategies in the world, but they're four strategies. So number one, really just get it out there. Just like in many of these other ones, if you just put the light of day to it, and that could be in the form of writing it out, telling it to a trusted friend, what have you, that can take away some of the emotional charge that it has in your life. The second one then is to analyze the shame. And what do I mean by that? Like analyze this. Uh, what I mean by analyze it is get to the heart of it. Is it really embarrassment or is it really guilt? Is it really something else other than shame? So, you know, kind of working with that definition that I put at the beginning and making that distinction from other emotions could be helpful. Because if it's something like embarrassment, right, that one time your, your pants split at work and ever since then you've thought that you're a fat slob, it maybe has nothing to do with that. It may be just that those are some worn out pants and the stitches were old. Uh, so in any case, the, maybe analyzing it can bring you some, uh, like I said, kind of tune down that emotional charge. The third strategy is looking at triggers. So sometimes... We have people, places, and things in our life that bring us some shame. If, for example, you know, we go around a certain friend and they, you know, they shame us. You know, they, they bring about, you know, they say you're stupid or they call you different things or what have you. And they make you feel some kind of shame. Then that's a person that maybe you want to get rid of in your life. You never know. Uh, or it could be you know, a place that you go to and it makes you think of something. I don't know if, for example, you dropped out of college and going back to your alma mater makes you think about that feeling, uh, that shameful feeling, then stay away from your alma mater. The fourth uh, one here is really to connect with other people who might have that same shame. An example, a uh, real life example for me is uh, divorce, right? So I'm a divorced man, so I connect with other divorced men and we talk about it. Um, I'm also a recovered alcoholic and that's a pretty vulnerable thing there, but I'm just going to tell you that. Uh, I haven't drank for uh, three years. So I go around people who don't drink. That also, you know, takes away from any of the, the shame that I might have had around that uh, that branding. So anyhow, I did this whole Serenity Sunday thing really as a way of sharing my knowledge and also learning a lot. Um, every time I make one of these videos, I have to do some prep work. 
So I want you to know that really this is a two-way learning process. And I really, really appreciate all of you for you know, liking my videos, sharing my videos, making comments, anything like that. It's really, really wonderful. So since this is the last one of these five emotions that pull away your serenity, if there's something that's occurring to you, something you're interested in, please send me a message. If there's something that you want uh, from me in terms of you know working on some of these challenges in your life, send me a message and let's talk about that. Let's make a strategy session, uh, which I which I do uh, as a complimentary service to anybody for my coaching practice. So in any case, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and thank you for your patience with this almost six minute video. So bye bye.